I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Jack in the Beanstalk. I'm going to come up right at the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down and around on the left side. Come back to the dot, draw another curve line down, around, and connect on the right side. Starting over here on the bottom, I'm going to draw a curve line up, in, connect. Curve line out, 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 in, connect. You should hit your dot. Now I'm going to go the opposite direction down here at the bottom. I'm going to draw a curve line up, in, connect. 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 Curve line up, in, connect, and one more if you can fit it, curve line up, in, connect. Okay, starting over here on the left hand side, let's put three fingers and put a dot. From that dot, going towards the left, I draw a curve line down, little curve line out, curve line over, leave it hang, uh, floating, come back up to the dot, Curve line down, little curve line out, in, connect. Right about here, I'm gonna just going to draw a curve line over, connect. A little curve line down here at the bottom, connect. Inside, one, two, little straight lines. Come up, one, two, little dots. Right here in the center, I'm just going to go wavy, wavy line down, wavy, wavy line up, connect. On the left hand side, I draw a curve line out, in, connect. On the right hand side, curve line out, in, connect. Right on top, on the left, curve line out, in, connect. And on the right hand side, curve line out, in, connect connect. Okay, come all the way down here to the bottom and right here about we're just going to draw a curve line down and leave it floating because right here we're going to put a dot and we're going to draw a circle. Straight line on the left, straight line on the right, slightly curved line, connect. I'm going to start right here at this point and I'm going to draw a curve line out one, two, three, four, five curved lines, connect. Come up here on the right, I'm going to draw a curved line out. One, two, three, four, five little curved lines, and connect. Come back over here on the left, and we're just going to draw a curved line up, curved line down, connect. On the left hand side, we're just going to draw a curve line out, in, connect. Right hand side, curve line out, in, connect. One dot, two dots, little curve line over, big curve line up, little curve line, little curve line. Right here, wavy, wavy, wavy line, jump over, wavy line, connect. Come back to this part. Wavy line, if you have room, wavy, wavy. Little bit of wavy line on the left, little bit of wavy line on the right. Okay, right inside, put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line out, in, connect. Come back over here, put a dot, we're going to draw a curve line out, in, connect. Starting over here on the left, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line, curve line out, connect, put a dot, curve line, curve line down, connect, put a dot, curve line, 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 curve line
curve line, curve line in, out, connect, put a dot, curve line, curve line out, in, connect, put a dot, curve line, curve line up, connect, put a dot, curve line, curve line up, connect, put a dot. Now come back over here, right here we're just going to add a curve line, connect, and I think that's about it. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dark green and I'm just going to draw a wavy line up and against this part of my circle. And I'm going to put a couple of green lines, curved lines, inside this space going all the way around. And we'll talk about what this all means when we get done. Usually I do light to dark, but today we're just going to use some dark green. And then we're going to come in with our lighter green and color each one of these spaces in. Okay? Now, pretty much the rest of this you can color any which way you want. You just want to make sure you get this section all these spaces colored green because these are supposed to be the beanstalk okay but the rest of this you can kind of color any which way you want what I did was I took red violet and I colored in my bean on here this space and then I colored some of these beans red violet but again like I said you can make your own choice and I colored in this bean, this space, dark blue. Again, you can make your own choice. If you have colored face colors, skin tones, I colored in these spaces just so it doesn't look so white. If you don't, it's no big deal. And again, like I said, pretty much all of this you can color any which way you want. This is just what I did. Then I took my different color brown and I colored in his hair or this space. And I colored in his shirt this color, blue green. Oops, I forgot my hand. Hello. If you have face color, skin tones, you can color in this just so it doesn't look so white. Now my cow, the only thing I would, probably would make everybody do the same color was I just gave it a pink muzzle. A little mouth. So this was pink. But the rest of the cow you can kind of do any color you want. So I think I gave my cow a tan face and then black ears and a black body and a little tan part right here at the top and then I colored in my eggs blue I mean my eggs hello my beans blue green and yellow okay and then because I had my yellow out I just put some yellow stripes in the background just to fill in the space okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's Jack and the Beanstalk all colored in waiting for the giant feet by bow bump Okay, bye-bye.